in celebration of over 75 years of our government employees insurance company, or GEICO, I propose savings for everyone and political parties that are actual parties with K and, and presents. It's too bad nobody can hear me. When a group of San Diegans appeared before the NCAA Special Events Committee in January 1978 to request certification of a bowl game, it wasn't the city's first try. Well, initially, uh, San Diego State had kept uh, alive the hopes of a uh, postseason football game here. Uh, Ken Carr, uh, then the uh, athletic director of San Diego State Aztecs, had applied for a NC2A certification uh, for a bowl game. Well, one of the most important elements of success that the bowl had was that we had a, a friend in camp and the commissioner of the Western Athletic Conference, Stan Bates, uh, who paved the way uh, uh, to the NC2A to receive certification. And he had such a great reputation uh, throughout the nation, having been uh, the athletic director at Washington State for many years prior. Uh, to uh, his becoming commissioner of the Western Athletic Conference. Uh, so that was a huge step forward that would have taken maybe a lot longer to get certification without staff. Once the game received final approval in late April 1978, there was a flurry of activity to get everything pulled together in only eight months, including selection of a name. Holiday Bowl was chosen, and when football season began, it was time to pick teams. Navy was the early favorite for the at-large bid and started the season with seven straight wins. On November 11th, BYU clinched the whack berth and a week later, Navy accepted a bid and the game was set. And what a game it would be. In the inaugural Holiday Bowl, Brigham Young University jumped off to a 16-3 third quarter lead behind the play of alternating quarterbacks Mark Wilson and Jim McMahon. McMahon threw one TD pass and ran for BYU's other touchdown. Rolling is McMahon, and McMahon gets in at the five for the touchdown. Navy then took over, scoring 20 straight points, beginning with Kevin Tolbert's TD run with less than four minutes remaining in the third quarter. The decisive play of the game was a spectacular 65-yard touchdown pass from Bob Lashinsky to Phil McConkey that gave Navy a 2016 lead with 11.38 remaining. McConkie's leaping catch stood as the bowl record for longest completion for 18 years and is still rated as one of the most exciting plays in Holiday Bowl history.